Hey everyone, welcome back to another new video. I hope you all are doing very well. So today I'm going to fix this motherboard. This is a Fujitsu Lightbook laptop motherboard. It came in repair. It's uh, not turning on. So now I will try to fix this board. So let's try to fix it. Okay, uh, this is a motherboard part number here. It's a very rare laptop. So at first I will uh, I will check main power rail it's short or not and unfortunately any board view or any schematic not available for this model so i set my multimeter in beep mode and then i will check this one of filtering capacitor 19 volt so as you can see there is no beeps or any not showing any value on my multimeter screen that means this main power rail is clear so now i will uh, try to find out 3 volt and 5 volt power rail it's a very different motherboard so let me check under my microscope Okay, I got it. This controller one, two, eight, five. This is a three volt and five volt regulator IC. So I'm going to plug it in and first of all I will check LDO voltage, three volt and five volt LDO voltage. So I'm going to check these two capacitor. So I don't know which is three volt and five volt. So let's check here first. So as you can see, we have three point two volt. LDO voltage is okay here. Let's check here. So four point nine seven. So this is a five volt or four volt, uh, five volt LDO voltage. So this two voltage is clear. So let's check the three volt coil or five volt. I don't know which one 3 volt and 5 volt so let's check here okay nothing my voltage here let's flip this board and this one may be 5 volt let's check here okay so as you can see there is no 3 volt and 5 volt so this voltage can be suspension Suspension means then I will trigger this motherboard. This voltage will available. I mean, when I press the power button, then three volt and five volt might be available. I don't know. So this is very difficult. The power switch connect with this LBD cable. <laughs> Very interesting. So let's connect it. Let's plug it in. And here you can see the power switch here. So let's press it. But it's not turning on. But my power supply now it's. 0 0.010 when I press the power button it's taking it's little bit high only 3 so I'm going to check this voltage is available or not when I press this power button so uh, as you can see I put my red prop on this coil and press the power button no it's not no no voltage is available on this coil so let's remove this and now i will check impedance this two coil 3 volt and 5 volt so let's check from here oh it's fully short to ground this is i don't know 
which voltage this one 3 volt or 5 volt but it's showing short Let's check this another coil here so it's okay it's okay only this coil is beeping so there is very simple way I'm going to inject voltage from my power supply so at first I will set my set one volt in my power supply let's put this ground and another is here so as you can see it's taking 1.5 amps so now I will touch everywhere if anything is getting hot okay I got it maybe this tiny capacitor here so let me show you under my microscope maybe this one or this one so let's put some smoke here so I can easily find out okay that's enough let's inject the voltage again okay I got it this little capacitor so remove this Check this capacitor. It's fully short. So very, <coughs> very easily we find out the faulty parts. So let's plug in again, and it's turning on. Look at that. Connect this LVDS cable. It's plugged in. There's the power button and it's turning on. And we have Fujitsu logo. So it successfully fixed this motherboard. So thanks everyone for watching this video.